After being appointed as King of Bohemia, Ferdinand II began to take away Protestant land and rights. Bohemian Protestants begin to protest and Ferdinand II sends Catholic Lord Regents to deal with the uprising. The Protestants have grown bolder since I ordered them to close their chapels and it's starting to really piss me off. My men better deal with them. Your King Ferdinand has clearly violated the terms of Emperor Rudolf II's letter of majesty. How dare you take away our rights? Sure, our king is responsible, but what's the worst thing you can do, throw us in jail? You have taken away our letter of majesty and have tried to force us to adopt your religion against our will. If we keep these men alive, there would be no justice. <laughs> Since the defenestration, war between Protestants and Catholics had broken out across Bohemia. Denmark's King Christian IV led an attack against the Holy Roman Emperor in fear that Ferdinand would dissolve his Protestant state. Now Emperor Ferdinand II is forced to regroup and gather a new military force. So, Wallenstein, I've noticed your successes throughout Bohemia. And I've noticed you have no forces to fight the Danish. What do you think you could do to assist my war effort? We cannot afford to raise another army. I can raise an independent army of 24,000 men to fight if you allow me to conquer the land. I can't turn that offer down. You shall now be the captain of the Holy Roman Empire. Take back what is the Catholic Church's. Wallenstein's forces conquered most of the Protestant territory by 1629. The Protestant King of Sweden was alarmed by Wallenstein's advances and decided to engage in war against the Holy Roman Empire. We have come to protect Protestantism throughout the German lands, as well as to liberate those under the control of the Holy Roman Empire. Can't be stopped. Suck it, Catholics. Your streak of luck has ended here. Fill my Catholic red. Get him, boys. Yeah. What are you doing? Get him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, you gotta do something right. You gotta do it yourself. That's action. Get him, boys. While the Swedish attack weakened the Catholic rule, their leadership took a hit by the death of King Gustavus Adolphus. The Catholics and Protestants of the Holy Roman Empire met at the Peace of Prague, ending the German Protestant revolt. While this created a temporary peace, several factions across Europe were still unhappy with Ferdinand II's power. As France decided to ally with Sweden and enter the war to oppose Catholic rule, the battles turned into bloodbaths. Foreign Catholic militaries from Spain and Austria fought for the Holy Roman Empire. French victories dethroned Spain as the superpower of Europe and gave the title to France. These battles also forced the Holy Roman Empire to make concessions. The German region had great casualties as approximately 20% of the German population died during the war. By 1648, all sides came together in order to stop this devastating conflict. Peace was finally achieved in Westphalia. As delegates from all conflicting parties met and discussed the terms for peace, settling all issues concerning religion and ruling.
The Peace of Westphalia stopped Ferdinand II's Edict of Restitution and officially recognized Calvinism as a religion. The independence of the Swiss and of the provinces of Holland were proclaimed, and German princes were able to rule over their principalities, including religion. The Protestant religion in Europe was here to stay. Wait, is it Wallenstein or Wallenstein? Wallenstein. It's a V. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to get me without like kicking, like hitting my feet on everything? Yeah. Evan. The Jack Rogers. I ordered them to close their chapels, and it's starting to really piss me. <laughs> you know, your King Ferdinand has clearly violated the terms of Emperor Rudolf II's letter of majesty. How dare you take away our rights? <laughs> oh, I thought you were reading from there. No. I don't know.